Welcome to Newport Living and Lifestyles. I'm Kristen, and we are here with the new Chief Executive Officer of the iconic International Tennis Hall of Fame, Dan Faber, also my neighbor. That is true, that is true, Kristen. I learned that last night, that I am your neighbor. Was the music too loud? It was a little bit loud, that's okay, but I feel like everybody from down at the wharf is are walking up towards my house anyway, so we're you're good to go. You're welcome to we're come over go. anytime to you hear the music on. We're good to go. I'll have a glass waiting for you. <laughs> perfect, perfect. So, you are new to Newport, you started this job May 1st. What is it that you love about Newport so far? Wow, that's a loaded question because <laughs> so um, there's so, so much to love. That's exactly right. I have to say just getting into the community, meeting people like yourself, meeting others uh, who are you know living here but also come here in the summer times, everybody's been extremely welcoming and that in itself has just been inspiring. I have to say I'm a foodie. Mm. I'm a foodie, so I've enjoyed trying different restaurants and I'm trying to figure out where that best clam chowder is right now, coming from a little bit south of here. That's a big staple of ours that we want to experience and explore. And I would say the third thing is, where are we, Kirsten? Where are we? Historic. Historic. The Hall of Fame. Yes. I mean, everybody has to come out, if they have not already, experience what this has to offer. I mean, what we have going on this entire week through the weekend, very, very inspiring from the, the actual professional tennis that's happening out there, what we're going to be doing this weekend and inducting some of the best athletes in the world. Just everything from soup to nuts, people need to come out to the Hall of Fame. It's a lot of fun. So this is the Emphasis Hall of Fame Open and Enshrinement Weekend, and that's happening right now from July 17th through the 23rd. And tell us a little bit about the history, the importance, the magnetism behind all of this. That's a great question. I mean, the, the mission of the Hall of Fame, there's three key, key components. One is to preserve and protect the history of the game, right, of tennis. The second is to celebrate its champions, which we're going to be doing this weekend. And the third is to inspire. And I think that's the most important piece of the mission of the Hall of Fame is the history of it, the champions that represent it, all of those things inspire people to find their own greatness, to possibly play the game, but also just to become leaders in their own communities. I love that. So what is the agenda for the entire Emphasis Hall of Fame and then the Enshrinement Weekend? What can people look forward to? Well, you can come out right now and you can experience incredible tennis. There's still tickets on sales. We'd love to have everybody come out. I mean, you're getting into some of the final rounds as we get into the, the, uh, the weekend itself. Just incredible athletes out there right now. But then what that's leading us into is what we call our enshrinement weekend where we have our induction ceremony. Mm -hmm. We're going to be uh, starting it, kicking it off with something called uh, at the Oga Court. We're gonna be doing fashion of it, but that's sold out. That's sold out right now, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to get you back next year for that. But I think people are gonna hear about it and get the buzz and we yes. welcome as many people back here next year. And that's gonna be really cool because they're going to have fashion that's never been seen before. Correct. So I can't wait Correct. to see what they do next year. Right. It's going to be really, really neat. But you know what? If you come to the museum, you can actually experience some of that fashion to see from the beginning to where we are now. But we're going to celebrate that out here, right here in the, the, the actual Oga Court. And then Saturday? Yes. Is the uh, Blazers, you, Brooks Brothers. Brooks Brothers Blazers. Yeah. Yes. Let's get this right. So Saturday is our induction ceremony, but we start with a brunch. At the brunch is where we're going to actually give the Brooks Brothers Blazers to our inductees. We have two incredible wheelchair athletes. One is Esther Vergeer, who is from the Netherlands, and one is Rick Draney, right here from the United States. So during the brunch, which will be right behind where, or in front of us where we are, we'll be giving the Brooks Brothers Blazers. Later that day at 6 o'clock, we're going to have the actual ceremony where their families and friends and supporters are all part of inducting them into the Hall of Fame, which is really exciting, followed beautiful. by a reception. We welcome, welcome anybody who would like to come out. We still have access to that. So please go to our website at tennisfame.com and we can get you a seat. So who are the celebrities that will be inducted this year? So the, the, the two players this year that are going in, as I said, is Esther Vergeer and Rick Draney. Both are incredible, incredible wheelchair athletes, athletes in themselves. More wins, 21 Grand Slams from Esther's side. Rick, Rick Draney, obviously a U.S. champion, and, and his record speaks for himself as well. So we're very excited to have these two join the Hall of Fame, this exclusive, uh, you know, induction type of thing that not too many athletes have a chance to go to. But 
but we have an incredible list of, of Hall of Famers that are going to be here to not only help present this award, but also be part of it. And that is Kim Kleisters, who's part of the Hall of Fame already as, as an, a staff person, as a president, Yvonne Little, Lindell, Pat Rafter, Tracy Austin, Steve Flink, Brad Parks, uh, Monique Kalkman, Mary Pierce, Rosie Cassells, it goes on and on and on. Oh, Patrick McEnroe, we just get, oh, he's not a Hall of Famer, what a, what a but great experience. he is uh, obviously a tennis icon in yeah. his own right, so he'll be here as well. Wonderful. And what should people be expected to wear to these events? You're asking me that question. <laughs> Maybe I'll you're, just tell them yeah, tennis chic. You're asking tennis me chic. tennis chic. I will <laughs> resort, be. I will resort. be sporting my Brooks Brothers. Nice. I will be because they've been so so supportive of us. But uh, I would say tennis chic with a little bit of that, you know, pizzazz with a little Love bit it. Brooks Brothers is Absolutely. great. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much for giving us the insight into what is going to be happening to, to this annual event and. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's my first time, okay. right? As the new CEO, I, I, I have been to the induction ceremony yeah. in the past, but in this capacity is the first time. So I'm just as excited as everybody else, and I can't wait to be a part of it. And one more time, where do they go to buy tickets? You go to tennisfame.com. <laughs> tickets are still on sale, and we hope to see you here. You ready to go hit some balls? Let's go hit some balls. All right, let's, let's do it. go. We look forward to seeing you on Newport Living and Lifestyles.